Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel where we break down complex tech into easy steps. Today I'll show you how to set up Active Directory on Windows Server 2022. Whether you are managing a small office or a big enterprise, this guide will help you get Active Directory up and running. Before we dive into setting up Active Directory, let's quickly go over the minimum requirements your server needs. You will need a processor with at least two cores, and if you're dealing with a lot of users, you'll want an extra core for every thousand people at least four gigabyte of ram but if you plan on syncing users with entry id shoot for six to eight gigabytes 64 gigabytes of storage is good but 80 gigabyte is recommended so you have room for updates for storage a mechanical hard drive will work but ssds are cheap and will give you a much faster experience also don't forget to set a, a static ip on your network card if you got all that awesome so let's get to the fun part the installation if you like a graphical interface, the server manager wizard is the way to go. First open up server manager and select add roles and features. You'll be installing the active directory domain services and don't worry the DNS will come along for the ride. And trust me you need it for your network to work properly. After the installation you can click promote the server to a domain controller and once you're in pick a domain name because this is a new deployment at the new forest and as a pro tip avoid public domain names like domain.com and instead use something like domain.local or domain.internal or if you plan to use your public domain name for certificates later on use something like ad.domain.com type in the directory service restore mode password this will be needed if you plan to restore your active directory later on from a backup domain name will automatically be the, the first value of your domain for example we use domain.local so we'll use domain but you can change this to something you like The server will just restart to lock in those changes. So pretty simple, right? But if you prefer working with commands, stick around for the PowerShell method. If you're a fan of the command line, PowerShell will be your best friend. It's fast and to the point. You'll use a couple of commands to install Active Directory. The first one installs Active Directory domain services and the second one sets up your new domain. After you're done, go ahead and restart the server and you're all set. Alright, now that Active Directory is installed, there are a few important settings we should take care of to make sure everything runs smoothly. First, you will need to set up DNS. You'll want to configure your Active Directory server as a DNS server in your network's DHCP scope so that computers can find it automatically. Next, activate the Active Directory Recycle Bin. Trust me, this one's a lifesaver. If you ever delete a user or computer by accident, the Recycle Bin will let you restore them without breaking a sweat. To do this through the GUI, you'll use the Active Directory Administrative Center and click on your domain to enable it. Or you can enable it with PowerShell. To keep things organized, it's a good idea to create organizational units or OUs for your users, computers and servers. This makes things easier when you want to apply policies later on. Once you've created your OUs, you'll want to redirect new users and computers to the right OU instead of letting them go to the default containers. Setting up OUs early on will save you a ton of time later. Now that your Active Directory is up and running, you can start managing users computers and group policies. But there's even more you can do to fine tune things. Take some time to explore the group policy management. This tool will help you control everything from password policies to security settings across your entire network. And if you're up for the next level, ADMX templates will let you standardize your settings across multiple devices. And that's it. You've just installed and set up Active Directory on Windows Server 2022. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more. In the next video I'll show you how to master group policy in ADMX uh, templates to really take control of your network. Thanks for watching!